Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we are on episode 287 of the Death Walkthrough. It's been so long since I've said that. Um, welcome back, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, just thought before we start, I would show my stats. These are my stats: 138 damage, 58 resist, 25 accuracy, uh, 556 five, five, crit. Um, 58 block across the board, 15 pierce, 21 incoming and 2 outgoing, uh, 504 pip conversion which is 33%, 107% power pip and 98 shadow rating, um, 7187 health and 584 mana. If you want more in depth stats of what I'm actually wearing or in depth video of what I'm wearing, I do have a video about that but I thought people are probably going to ask so I'll just put it here right now um but yeah welcome back everybody we are starting caramel today we won't actually be going into caramel um but you know we can speak to fitzhum and see what happens oh look it's the hero of unicorn way what i'm a librarian i do my research but seriously nice job saving us all from cataclysmic doom you and i really are a lot alike you know we're both made to perform tasks we didn't sign up for and never get the credit we deserve for instance, after the musicology scholar blew up his office, who managed the cleanup and did all the paperwork to move him into a new one? Me. And when Ioni needs someone to fix her rat problem, or, or was it a mole problem? Yes, fix her mole problem. Who does she run to? That's right, me. Librarian Fitzhume. I've two millennials worth of books to Dewey decimalize, yet Princess Ioni makes me call the exterminator. Hero of the Arcanum is what they should call me. Oh well. You should probably go help Ioni before that mole makes too big of a mess. Um, so yeah, obviously um, I've already played through all of Caramel with dialogue. But we're doing it again because you know what, that's fun. Also that was on my second channel, which you should totally go subscribe to by the way, just saying. J just a suggestion. Um, but yeah, that's all. As, as this video has come out, the last video has actually just gone up like two hours ago. Um, so yeah, that's that's fun. Hi, Ioni. Ah, wizard, welcome back. What you've heard is true. The Arcanum has a mole. But first, we must attend to the matter of your rank. Besting the primordial powers of creation and saving all life in the spiral goes well beyond the responsibilities of an understudy. In addition, your work to unite the factious forces of Light and Shadow, as well as the Arcanum and Council of Light, deserves special recognition. Thus, I hereby promote you to Arcanum Liaison and grant you the appropriate uniform. I also wish to personally extend an earnest thank you. Now, on to the mole issue. Following Grandfather Spider's retirement, we've been monitoring Cabal communications for attempted retribution. Unfortunately, we trace many of the communications right back here to the Arcanum, the musicology department, to be precise. After the medulla headache, we ask that you, the Arcanum Liaison, be the first to confront Scholar Von Trapp. For liability reasons, of course. Okie dokie, we still don't get Arcanum Liaison badge. We still need that. I'm just saying, if, if Kingsile, if you're watching, we should get an Arcanum Liaison badge. We have Understudy and Initiate. Why not Liaison? Just saying. Um, I did actually add that as an idea in Test Realm. But hey, whatever. Musicology. Let's go to the office. Remember, he blew it up. We have a video on that as well. The lippy was standing over here for, for a wee while. But hey, this is the musicology office. Pretty cool. Pretty epic. I know. Crazy. You would have never expected it. It looks dope. Was ist das? So render. Kabbalist mole. Such an odd greeting. Oh, I think I see what is going on here. Come, let us speak. Man, I've missed Morworth. He, he's such a great guy. Oh, I love him. First, with the introductions. I am Malvorf von Trapp, scholar of musicology, a very exciting magical discipline which we have no time to discuss. As you have observed, I am a mole, but not of the sneaky, sneaky, infiltrative variety. No, no. In fact, it is I who uncovered the latest cabal plot. Indeed, Grandfather Spider may be silenced forever, but his former underlings still carry his old shadowy tune. As we speak, a fiend named the Scarlet Shrimpanel is plotting to retake Chrysalis. He plans to assassinate King Piat Morningsford and seize the throne. You know this world, yes? Then you must go to Bastion and thwart him. Okie dokie. Um, there we go. There's our liaison gear, which is um not 
terrible definitely not terrible um it, it's pretty good for free gear so yeah it also looks like they're just this generic arcanum gear if you're wondering we we looked at it a bit in test drum i could bring back pilgrim boy but we're not doing that <laughs> we're not doing that um but yeah it, i don't believe it's really changed too much there is this wand as well which is not terrible um obviously this is the death stuff there's a whole bunch of other for other other schools um the the f aim is not actually that bad at all in my opinion it also looks really cool um and and yeah where's the deck the deck is there and the deck is actually pretty cool it gives um a faint card which is not too bad six resist not the best um that's the amulet sorry what am i thinking i don't know um the the ring is kind of bad but it does give more damage so you know i'll you never know what you never know you never know um and then obviously the deck is not terrible and in fact it is kind of better than the one that i use currently so yeah that's the thing but right let's head over to bastion we're meeting friend in bastion i bet you cannot guess who it is probably all of you have already either played test drum or seen other videos on this but hey whatever we're, we're meeting friend in bastion i bet you cannot guess who it is right in the comments who you think our friend in bastion is in five four three two one here is our friend. He stands right there. Right there. Friend. Halt. No one may enter Chrysalis without... Oh, Spellbinder. It's you. Is this a social visit? Or has a new calamity returned you to our world? It's a shadowy cabal agent named the Scarlet Shrimpinel is here in Bastion, and he stalks our king. No, that's impossible. I've personally verified each and every person that has come through this world door. Unless... There was a conspicuously large delivery of seafood that came through recently. Perhaps those crates were packed with more than just imported fish. I made note of the delivery's final destination. Follow me. Right. Um, we, we, we back with Divim. He is friend. Um, and I love him. And I'm so happy that they brought him back. I am... I, when, when we did this on Test Realm my jaw just absolutely dropped i was in absolute shock if you want to see that it's the first episode of on my second channel that? it's the stench of evil and shellfish once again old friend let us go save chrysalis together i don't know what to say i just i just love this moment it's so fantastic it's absolutely fantastical um i do need to quickly change up my deck real fast because we need to put some more stuff in um that'll be good and stuff you know just just the normal just the normal um but we have we have these things um i don't think oh they... it seems someone has ordered lunch for us rebuilding a shadow empire on the ashes of this new chrysalis is hungry work let's eat um so yeah we're just gonna quickly defeat these guys they're just mobs um death and shadow not really interesting um we do have divim so he he does boost stats to a lot um so basically nearly nearly a god so that's good but i'll be back once i've defeated these guys right i am back hopefully this should kill we may crit we may not i did get a weakness just now so that's great <laughs> imagine that um obviously crit has changed i'm not going to go over that in this video i didn't kill oh no i don't think i killed oh no wait they have three thousand don't worry i'm dumb i'm very dumb i'm incredibly dumb um but yeah, crit has changed. I'm not going to go over this because I really don't quite understand I've how it works. I've forgotten the thrill of fighting at your side, Spellbinder. Let us press on. But yes, let us press on. As Divim said, he is fantastic. Look at his run. Oh my gosh, I miss him so much. I really miss Divim. We need more Divim. We need more Wizard and Div Divim time. It's like a mandatory thing. Every world from now on, we have to have Divim. It's just a just a thing that I think they should add, personally. Um, we're going to add a feint here. This is the first boss. Wow, crazy. Imagine, imagine fighting a boss well, already. Well, well. Look what the rat dragged in. The Divine Paradox. Before you, the Cabal had purpose, unity, a dream to restore the first world. But now we're fragmented, disjointed, scraping for lost power and forced to kowtow to one whose ambitions would destroy all that we are. Oh, you haven't heard? A new leader has emerged in Spider's wake. An old one, ever watching, ever waiting. He has such plans for you. He will. Ugh, enough talk, you malodorous monster. To battle, Kiai! Right. Um, 
I, I love this room. Divim's crying everywhere in here. It's quite fantastic. It may not actually be Divim, but it looks like Divim, so we're gonna pretend it's Divim and he's crying because he's upset because we haven't seen him in so long. Um, but yeah, obviously, um, enchants are now, like, no PvP, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. That happened, like, right at the end of Test Realm as well. Didn't even realize until, like, just now. Um, because <laughs> I didn't actually go on Test Realm after they did that change, so yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the first boss. Um, fire and... Fire and Myth, so that's fun. I'm expecting Earthquakes. Um, I don't actually remember what he can do, nor do I know. Can we find him real quick? What is he called? Scarlet. Scarlet. Um, shrimp. Shri shrimp and now. Let, let's find out exactly what he can do live here on recording because that's live. Um, th there is no matches for my search. Did I spell it wrong? Probably. Are we going to try again? Probably. Um, 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 is that right? No, okay, that, that's fine. You know, there's a, there, there's a thing that happens where, like, the world just comes out and you don't know what everything is. It's fantastic. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what he does, but he doesn't do anything too crazy, I don't think. Um, possibly Earthquake. We'll, we'll see it right now. Nope. Okay. That's fine, Nautilus. They do like to cast the new spells. Nautilus, um, Shipper Falls, the guys downstairs, casted Shipper Falls about three times to me. It's quite rude. Quite rude, personally. I think we're just going to hit, um, just because we can, so why not? Why not just hit if you have the opportunity to hit? You might as well take it. Um, we have no weaknesses. We're going first as well, which is fantastic. We're going to crit because, like... Crit is a thing that just happens now, and, and it's like a multiplier. It's pretty cool. I like it. I, I think that's how crit should have been always. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Block is actually useful now. It reduces damage. Um, crit, however, I wouldn't say is all that useful now. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling divine paradox. How did you even know where to find me? Malware. You mean the Cabal's mole in the Arcanum? Figures he'd side with the old one. What? I know he's literally a mole. He's also a spy. We're everywhere! You'll never win. Or you won't win any additional times. The law of averages is on our side. You have to lose eventually. My word, he's a talkative one. He's the palace guard's problem now. Come, wizard. Let's step outside. This place reeks. Yes, um, the law of averages doesn't always work that way in this game. We always win, because otherwise it would be unsatisfying, I guess. Um, but yeah, we always win, so that that's fun. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to Divim. Um, well, I have noticed as well, while I was questing through here, um, in Test Realm, we do actually get quite a lot of gold from just doing the main quest now, which is cool. I like that a lot. I may not have actually noticed that previously in other worlds, because I didn't really care enough to notice. As wonderful as it was to fight alongside you again, Spellbinder. Maybe next time we could just share some cheese and a laugh, eh? <laughs> I want to hold King's Isle to this. I really do. If this doesn't happen in the next world, I will be very disappointed. I will be very, very disappointed. Just saying. Until then, you must alert your Arcanum compatriots to what the Shrimp Man said about the spy, Malworth. May the light guide you, my friend. The Shrimp Man. That's what he's called. The title of this video. The Shrimp Man. Nah, Divim's gonna be the title for sure. Divim is definitely gonna be the title. He deserves it. He deserves it. I should also fill up potions. We might do that real quickly. Wow, well, actually, no, we don't need to. This 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 episode won't be too hardcore. Actually, we might actually be able to go into Caramel today. Because I forgot that we I felt in Test Run we had to wait for ages for the for Chrysalis to load. Um so it felt like this took ages, but it didn't actually. Um so we might actually make it into um, caramel before the end of the episode, which is pretty dope. Um, but yeah, let's go talk to, um, Ioni, 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 something about Onis and stuff. Who knows? Wizard, you return, finally. I am pleased. What news of the mole situation? Scholar Von Trapp is spying on the Arcanum and the Cabal, a double double agent. I find this confusing. When you left for Chrysalis, Malworth went to his musicology studio to prepare a, quote, surprise for you. No doubt a trap. But you must spring it. Apprehend Malworth and bring him to me. Then he will learn that I, too, can be persuasive. 
Okie dokie, we gotta go do that. Oh look, caramel's loading. Fun, 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 fun. Ha ha. Right, let's go spring the trap. We're gonna get potions first because it's basically the same area. Basically the same area. I could have just gone to the Arcanum because it's right here and we continue, but whatever. Whatever. So by the way, um, in case you're wondering, the, the, the gated door, still still gated. Um, that's the musicology department. That's our Arcanum apartment. Um, Sybil is no longer talked to. That used to be the musicology department, the door with like the tape now. that That's where it used to be. And that got blown up. That was in the pre-quest that they released a wee while ago. Um, but yeah, now we're going into another room. That is opposite the morgue, is that that one? I don't know. There's just so many doors that we've been through a few of them, but not all of them. And they're just Visit finding a way to come heck. in. Has the Scarlet Shrimpinel been dealt with? Huh, wunderbar. He was just going to get in our way. <laughs> now, for your reward, you must face the Doom Box. And you must face it now! Play! Um, right. So... The Doom Box. This is a, a, a fight. This is solo, so you cannot come in with any other people. You can't port in here, I believe. Um, so it's literally just you in a box. He doesn't have much health. He has life as well, so don't worry. You should be fine. If you're not, then there's something seriously wrong with you. Just saying. He, he wasn't too big of a dish, an issue. A tissue? A tissue? Who knows? Um, to me, when I was doing this on test, I defeated him pretty quickly. And I intend to do that again here. We're going to blade once. Actually, yeah, we're going to blade once just because we need to. And then we'll go for a scarecrow. Um, because scarecrow is good. Um, but yeah, scarecrow, ship of pulls. And um, sometimes Lulu is basically all that I'm going to be using now. Occasionally Sion if I really have to, but... I only have one in, so probably not. Um, but yeah, that's probably just how we're going to be going. We don't use Denite anymore because Denite is not as cool as, as Scarecrow or as cool as Ship of Fools. So, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing that happens. Change is good, and it's time to change it up. Back to Scarecrow. It's been ages since we've used this constantly, and, you know, it's good to see it again. Good to see it. Right, there we go. Defeated. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We're about to get a really cool surprise. Do you feel the music wizard coursing through you like electricity? If not, we shall have to do this all again. No, are you good? Oh, good. This rhythm will syncopate with your inherent magic to create a new spell. A small token of gratitude for dealing with this stinky shrimpanel. What? Me? A kebal spy? Herr Shrimpy spilled the jelly beans, didn't he? Well then, okay. I confess, I am indeed a mole. Also, the mole. <laughs> I multitask. Whew. Feels good to say out loud. But please know, I have only the best of intentions. Come, come, let us march to my office and discuss further. The music's really cool in here. I didn't actually take this in and test drum. But it's super cool. Really, really cool. And that's like the only time you hear it. It's quite sad, really. Quite sad. I wish it was going through the combat as well. Um, but hey, that's the thing. Right, we've got, um, Snack Attack. I don't really like this spell. It's cool, but also, um, it's just not death enough for me, you know? It do just doesn't fit the aesthetic, but basically it pushes a, um, like, a weakness or something to a enemy and hits everybody for 520 to 640. It's like a weird version of Lulu because they've changed it to, like, 5 pips now. You can also spell it, um... And you can go 4 pips, 3 pips, 6 pips, or 7 pips. It was originally 7 pips, so this is what it originally was. Um, and you can take it back to that, or you can take it to 6, or you can take it to 4 or 3, which I really like. I really like this system. Um, I just don't like the spell, because I don't think it's particularly death school enough. So, that's just my opinion. But, you know, it's a thing that I'm probably Bite not going to use. tongue, traitor. You see, this is our problem. Always with the fighty birds. Is it not time we move the discussion forward? Come, let us speak of something new. I love Molworth. He's so cool with his words. He's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, I say something new first. We must discuss something far older than our silly little schism. The great old one himself. The great old one is just a myth. There is no secret author of history, always watching, always nudging. That is pure cabal propaganda. Oh, you are quite wrong. The old one is just reclusive. 
At least he was until Grandfather Spider went kaput. Now he speaks out for change. The Great Old One has established the Grand Summit, a conference to unite all the Cabal factions under one common goal. Peace with the Arcanum. I only make the scrunchy, suspicious face, but the summit will be hosted in the sweetest world in all the spiral. Caramel, my beloved home. Caramel is famous for its peaceful neutrality. Just thinking of it makes me want to smile. As our canon liaison, you shall represent us, wizard. Wunderbar! Meet me in Caramel City, and I will escort you to my home. Uh, because the summit is at my house, not because it's a trap. Jeez! Right, we're gonna go to Caramel. We, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna. We're gonna do it. We, we're just gonna have to do it. You know, it's Caramel episode one. Might as well go for it. You know, actually go to Caramel. Crazy. We have what five pages now? Five pages of worlds. Holy moly! Now my insane clicking can actually get me somewhere really far, not just a, a page too short. But hello, Caramel. This is Caramel. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Welcome, or as we say it. Welcome to Caramel City, Wizard, the crown jewel of the Candy Dials, the bustling capital of Caramel. And, uh, oh, shucks, I forgot the rest of the spiel. Mm, no matter, the Burgermaster has prepared an entire welcoming pageant for you. Come, come. Um, right. Welcome mm. to the home of Nana's old-fashioned Caramel Delights, the spiral's foremost purveyor of sweets, savories and smiles. The magic begins with Nana's patented automated gummy units, which safely gather chocolates, marshmallows and gumdrops to send to our factories. There, the happy gnomes craft the raw ore into tasty treats, which fairies sprinkle with love and pinch of fairy dust. The results are, oh, delightful. Um, did someone update the welcome program without telling me, or did something just go terribly wrong? Oh, yeah. You could see the murdery grrr on their little goomy faces from here. <sighs> Wizard, maybe you and I go help those poor zingers, no? Come, come. I think we're going to do that next time. <laughs> I'm going to leave on a huge cliffhanger, but we managed to make it into Caramel. Um, here is the map for Caramel City, which is the main area. There is a um, recipe vendor down there, which sells the in-game gear, um, or the new level 140 gear. Um, it's the same as the drop stuff. There's a pet vendor. There's all stuff. There's an innovator, which gets you around the place to places that you have been already. And obviously, here is Caramel map in its full glory. It's only just been added, so... Yeah, look at it. Fantastic. All of those areas we go to eventually. But anyway, thank you for watching episode number one of Caramel. Um, I can't remember the actual episode number, but hey, it's episode one of Caramel. Wow, welcome. Um, what was your favorite part? What is? What are you most excited for in Caramel? And leave that down in the comments below. Also, leave a like if you like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Press the bell if you want to be notified when the next episode comes out. And remember to craft outside the box.